To get started using RFID technology in your Jagged account, we highly recommend to do an initial import of your equipment list in Excel. The way to do that is either use a template which we've emailed you or go here to the help section, click on help, might as well expand to the full window and then scroll down and go to the getting started with RFID section. There you have an article on how to get started with RFID with a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to do it. Um, step one is open this template, so you can click here to download the template. Step two will be to choose the columns you need and group or remove the columns if required. I'll show you how to do that because you might not need all the columns or you might like to change the order of them. Step three is then to actually list all the equipment in Excel. Again, you can copy paste information from ex existing Excel spreadsheets if you already have them. Then we scan the RFID items, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And then last but not least, step five, email us the Excel spreadsheet and we will upload it for you. Again, you can press here to download your import template or you can also download it here. So you've got plenty of places you can download this template. I'll now just open this template up and this is what it'll look like. You see we have a variety of columns and some have some comments here with the red triangle. Uh, so if you need to know what these are about you can just hover your mouse over that field. Let's start with the first one here, the ID column. On your very initial import you actually don't need this column at all. This would just be for future bulk updates of existing items. So I'm actually going to click on the column, right click the delete button and just get rid of this first column to make my life easier. The category and subcategory are mandatory columns. We'll get to those in a sec as we add the items in. The item code column is optional. It's just another code field that you can use for searching. Size is self-explanatory. Description is the field we'll use the most. Serial number is a very popular field, model as well, and then comments, that's a rarely used one on the initial import, but you could add some comments in there, and then cost and sale is if you wanted to actually buy and sell these items. For now, I'm just going to get rid of these three columns as well. Going forward, we have the date of purchase, if you want to record that. We have the date of manufacture, date of first use. Just for this example here, um, also sorry, date removed from service. And then just for this example here, again, just to keep the screen a bit concise, I'm going to get rid of these four columns, but please do feel free to use them. The next inspection date is an important one. The notification is an important one. And then the very important one is the actual inspection interval. Note here, as per the comments, the format needs to be in either uh, numbers, space days, numbers, weeks, months, or years. And then the RFID number, which is key. So what I'll do is I'm gonna actually now just cut so that's control X or you could right click and um, cut these cells and to make my life easy I am going to put them just here for now so we can still see the the RFID number and uh, all the other information okay so let's get started I'll leave a space here so you can just see the examples. We'll start a row below. So my main category could be, for example, rope access equipment. And then my first subcategory could be ropes. And again, you could differentiate here, for example, between ropes static and then have another subcategory, which would be ropes dynamic. I like to use the word ropes first just to keep them closer together if I did have dynamic and static ropes. The item code, I'm actually going to ignore for now, and I'll get rid of this column as well, just to keep things easier. And let's say I've got my 200 meter rope, and that could be a HTP super static rope, a serial number, 
let's just call it RP1 for now, the model HTP. And then the inspection interval, this is an important one. So I'm, for example, going to say this is every six months. I'm going to leave the RFID field empty for now. And let's just, for example, say I have a blue and some other colors as well. Now, if I have a whole number of these ropes, and that's why it's also quicker to do this in Excel, is I can just highlight the, the fields drag them down so let's assume I've got 10 ropes so I'll go from 6 to 16 which again just copies all the data here I would just have to go through and adjust for example the size and so if all the others are 100 meters I can again do this much faster and then if I have here my 50 meter ropes again it's just quicker to do it like this and then if need be I can go through the descriptions and change some colors as well if some of these were red even if it goes across the 50 meters for example I can go like this so these are now all my blue ones my red ones by the different sizes and these can be my serial numbers again I can adjust them so let's say these are my ropes I could then carry on with some more rope access equipment and let's just say these are my carabiners uh, the size might just be standard or we can go large etc up to you that could be now a Kong steel carabiner with a screw gate. And again, you might want to have a carabiner called, uh, sorry, a category called carabiners screw gate. And then you might later on have another category which might be for your carabiners auto lock, for example. So I've got my different categories here, etc. So obviously if these were all screw gates and then the others were auto lock, I would now change the description down here, or you could have just left this as steel carabiners generic and then use the subcategories from there. Uh, let's just say the model is Kong and okay, there's a bit of an error here. So this is every six months and they're all Kong etc. So this is how you would essentially build your lists in Excel. The fun part is now adding these RFID numbers. So let's say I've got all my ropes laid out in front of me. They've already been tagged. If you need to know how to tag them, that would be a separate video or you can contact support. Um, let's just say I've got all these ropes laid out in front of me now and I'm just going to start scanning them. So I'll go scan my first rope, scan my next rope, scan my next rope, etc. So I literally, I just have all my ropes laid out and you'll notice when we finish the first scan, the reader will automatically tell Excel that it's finished the number and essentially hit the enter button so it goes straight into the next row, which again is it's much faster to do your initial um, stock take and scanning all your RFID numbers into Excel because you can literally just lay your gear out in front of you and go through scanning all these numbers. I could carry on forever, same thing, you'd lay out all your carabiners, you just want to make sure that your screw gates are really your screw gates and your auto locks are your auto locks. I personally found when I'm dealing with a large amount of gear, it's easiest to group your gear the way you would also group it by subcategory. So you have all your static ropes together, all your screw gate carabiners, all your auto locks, and then you can just go through scanning these numbers like that. It's pretty quick to do. We logged an entire training facility with this method in a day. Uh, we had two people there for one day. So you can do quite a large amount of logging. If you need help with this, please do contact us. But I hope for now that this video gives you an idea on how to build your initial Excel sheet. Once you're done with it, just go to File, Save As, save it in a safe place, and then email it to us on support at jagged.com which you also have here as a reference, or just send it to your designated account manager. Thank you, and here's to just get it done using RFID technology.